Guess still fit you don't it, just. Can I get you a drink? I thought you'd be saving for your rose-covered cottage. Well, my fiancé left his car behind the bar before he went. Oh, did he? Just as well. You know what Liam's like when he's out on the beers. He'll be bankrupt by morning. So, this way, I guess he's got something worth coming back for, isn't it? Yeah, right. It's wedding. Right, girls, what can I get you? And again, you know, it's never exactly been Mr. Reliable. I've known him so much longer than you have. Excuse me. You just get your own, eh? Got all these little discoveries to come, ain't you? Uh, what's all that about? <laughs> Sensitive, isn't she? Hormones. No. no. You're out of order, you. What? Where did the boys say they were going to be back? <laughs> Liam, back here for last orders. You're joking, aren't you? He'll be wrapped round the pole dancer by now. Do you know what? I think I might call it a night, girls. Oh, we've hardly started yet. Yeah, you can't go now. I've paid Jerry to do his Chippendale impression. <laughs> well, just a small matter of a wedding to organise. Come on, love. Oh, I'm sure you manage without us. Well, they're going to have to manage without me, otherwise I'll be in no fit state in the morning. Oh, come on, Maria, you lightweight. Your fiancé's out doing God knows what. You've got to make the most of it. Why don't you try and keep your clever opinions to yourself in future, eh? See you later. Yeah. I've left around behind the bar when you're ready. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, that's what I call a proper mother-in-law. Just us, then. Mm. I'll try and keep you under control. You know what? We don't want all this free drink to go to waste, do we? <laughs> oh. One enjoying themselves. I am. Although, I don't think Maria could stand the pace. Hmm. All the company. What? Oh, well, she's so touchy. I think you say to her she starts pulling her face. What bloke is going to want to live with that? I'm telling you. Carla, just button it for once, will you? You don't know anything about it. Excuse me, what don't I know anything about that you won't be telling me? Sean, are you all right for five minutes? Oh, yeah, go on. Desert me and everyone else has. Talk about fur coat and non knickers. You don't have to work with it, Claire. So come on then. What's with all the big mystery? I just um, think you should get off her back. She's pregnant. She's edgy with the wedding coming up. Uh, you get off. What is she, a porcelain doll? Well, maybe you're just a bit too keen on winding her up, that's all. I mean, I expect it, she doesn't. I don't get what the problem is. I'm only having a laugh. Yeah, well, she doesn't think so. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. Just leave her alone, eh? Yeah. Well, if that's the best you can do... Oh, just listen, will you? I know you might find this hard to believe, but for once in your life, this isn't about you, all right? It's about Liam. The night... He had the accident. <laughs> Sorry, not guilty. I wasn't even there. After they got him to hospital and they pumped him full of painkillers and whatever else. Well, it, he started rambling on. You know, delirious. Well, it was you he was calling for and so when Maria got there, they thought she was you. You were. Well, I mean, they thought her name was Carla anyway, so you can imagine what she's been thinking ever since. But what would he be shouting for me for? Because he was out of it on drugs, I don't know, do I? Look, I just thought you should know what was going on. It's no big deal, all right? One was definitely bigger than the other. Here they are, the flower of Weatherfield Manhood. Listen. <laughs> I still don't think that was a good idea, you know. It was Liam's idea, man. You know, one two minutes ago, he was down of exposure for a great big huge mountain. The Connors are not like other men, son. Where there's no sense, there's no feeling. Yeah, OK. What have you done with Liam, you bunch of morons? Oh, no, he decided to wait for the bus. Don't tell him. Well, put it this way, lads. If you don't, there'll be no point any of you getting married anyway, cos none of you'll have the equipment. Well, I'm not getting married anyway, so... Good lad. Love him and leave him like your uncle Tommy. I can't fault you there. 
in his dreams, son. Have you been letting him drink? Er, uh, well, we bought him one. You were supposed to be looking after him. He did have a sip out of mine. And everyone else's when you weren't looking. I wonder why I wasn't drunk enough. Yeah, OK. I think bed might be a good idea, don't you? Come on. I'm past caring about you lot. He's to be happy for once. Just leave me on my own again, then. Fine. Thanks. No worries. Come on. So where is he then? Let's just say he's resting. <laughs> Sobering up. A bit of sunbathing. Or it's that. If you've done anything stupid... What, well, us? Never. <laughs> You saw me standing alone And I was there on my own Without a care in the world Look at the state of you. Oh, come on. Chips are cold. Your chips can't get pneumonia, can they? All right. It's only my skin. <laughs> you are never going to live this one down, Mr. C. <laughs> As you think it's too late to get it in the papers. <laughs> you morons, a lot of you. Well, Ma, that's me, darling. I can only be saved by the love of a good woman. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> What's it look like? Here she is, letting my life. I've had a good night in a while. Oh, Just get off him, will you? <laughs> ladies, ladies, please, I'm not worth fighting over. Not in that state, you know. Oh, I don't know. It's all yours, love. Yeah, too right, he is, love. Come on, let's get you home, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.